Welcome to an example on how to determine the Laplace transform of a piecewise defined function. We'll write f of t in terms of the unit step function or heavy side step function shown here. But let's first look at the graph of f of t. f of t equals zero if t is less than two, which is this piece of the graph. f of t equals four times the quantity t minus two when t is greater than or equal to two and less than six, which is this piece of the graph. And finally, f of t equals 16 when t is greater than or equal to six, which is this piece of the graph. So again, our first step is to write f of t in terms of the unit step function shown here, which is u sub c of t, also expressed as u of the quantity t minus c, which equals zero if t is less than c, and equals one if t is greater than or equal to c. And then we'll use these formulas to determine the Laplace transform. Well, the Laplace transform of u sub c of t equals e raised to the power of negative cs divided by s, and the Laplace transform of f of the quantity t minus c times u sub c of t equals e to the negative cs times the Laplace transform of f of t. There's a couple things to notice in this formula. Notice how these values of c must be the same. On the left, we have f of the quantity t minus c. On the right, we have f of t. But again, the first step is to write f of t in terms of the unit step function. So let's write f of t equals, well notice how the first function value is zero. So we could skip over this interval, but I do want to show how to set this up if this function value wasn't zero. We'd start with the given function value, which again in this case is zero, and then we'd multiply by a difference that would be equal to one over this interval, otherwise it's equal to zero. We can express this as one minus u sub two of t. Remember, u sub two of t is equal to zero when t is less than c, and is equal to one when t is greater than or equal to c. So u sub two of t is equal to zero when t is less than two, so we'd have this function value times one, and when t is greater than or equal to two, u sub two of t is one, so we'd have the function value times zero, which brings us to the next function value, which is four times the quantity t minus two. We want this to be the function value over this interval, so we're going to multiply this by a difference, again using the unit step function, which would be u sub two of t minus u sub six of t. Over this interval, this difference is one, and as soon as t equals six, this difference would be zero, bringing us to the last function value of 16. We want the function value to be 16 when t is greater than or equal to six, so we can say plus 16 times u sub six of t. Now let's go ahead and simplify f of t. Of course, in this case, this product would be zero, here, let's go ahead and distribute four times the quantity t minus two. So we'd have four times the quantity t minus two times u sub two of t, and then minus four times the quantity t minus two times u sub six of t, and then we still have plus 16 times u sub six of t. Now remember, our goal here is to find the Laplace transform of f of t. Notice how this product is in the correct form to apply this Laplace transform formula because the value of c in both cases is two. Notice how this product is not in the correct form because here we have t minus two and here we have u sub six. We need this to be t minus six, not t minus two. So for our next step, we'll go ahead and subtract six and add six in these parentheses so that we can have this in the form of the quantity t minus six plus or minus a constant. So we'll have f of t equals four times the quantity t minus two times u sub two of t minus four times, and in parentheses we'll have t minus six plus six, which is zero, and then we still have the minus two times u sub six of t plus 16 times u sub six of t. Now if we group the t minus six in parentheses, we can write this as four times the quantity t minus two times u sub two of t, and then minus four times the quantity t minus six, and then plus six minus two is plus four times u sub six of t, plus 16 times u sub six of t. 
Notice how now we do have a t minus six here and a u sub six here. But let's still work on simplifying this. Let's go and distribute the u sub six of t. And let's do this on the next slide. If we distribute the u sub six of t, we'd have minus four times the quantity t minus six times u sub six of t. And then we'd have negative four times positive four times u sub six of t, that'd be minus 16 u sub six of t. And we have plus 16 u sub six of t. Notice how these last two terms are opposites. So these two terms simplify out. And we finally have the function f of t in a form where we can determine the Laplace transform of f of t. Going back to our previous slide just for a moment, remember the Laplace transform of f of the quantity t minus c times u sub c of t equals e raised to the power of negative cs times the Laplace transform of f of t. So for our next step, we'll take the Laplace transform of both sides of the equation. The Laplace transform of f of t is big F of s equals Let's write the right side as a difference of two Laplace transforms. We'll have the Laplace transform of four times the quantity t minus two times u sub two of t minus the Laplace transform of four times the quantity t minus six times u sub six of t. So we have big F of s equals, notice here we have a c value of two, so we have e raised to the power of negative two s times the Laplace transform of f of t, where this is f of the quantity t minus two. So if f of the quantity t minus two equals four times the quantity t minus two, without the translation, f of t would be equal to just four t, because notice how if we have an input of t minus two, we do get the function value four times the quantity t minus two. So here we have the Laplace transform of f of t, which should be four t. Then we have minus the Laplace transform of four times the quantity t minus six times u sub six of t, so c is six. So we have e to the negative six s times the Laplace transform of, again, if f of t equals four t, f of the quantity t minus six would be four times the quantity t minus six. So this is also four t. And just to review, remember the Laplace transform of four t would be four times the Laplace transform of t to the first. So if n equals one, we'd have one factorial which equals one all over s to the power of one plus one or s squared. So we have big F of s equals e to the negative two s times four divided by s squared minus e to the negative six s times four divided by s squared. Simplifying one last time, big F of s equals, notice how we do have a common denominator of s squared, and the numerator would be four e to the negative two s minus four e to the negative six s. This is the Laplace transform of the given piecewise defined function. I hope you found this helpful.